everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I am off to the hairdressers in 10 minutes. I thought I would just quickly show you what my hair is looking like before. Because um, I thought I would just vlog today. I've got a day off work. It's a random Thursday. Tom's are off with me or anything, so I can just take you along with what I'm doing. As you can see, these bits at the front, these should be face framing uh, bits. <laughs> so you can see how long my hair must have grown in the last sort of five six months since I've had it done and I never usually leave it that long and I'm also very grey and plus my hairdresser's got a new salon as well so I'll take you to see that and um, I'll include my weight loss in this video as well so today I'm on Thursday and I get weighed in on Saturday morning so so this week's video is just going to be a bit of a mixed bag I just don't really know what to do with the cut or the length of it but essentially I just want it really cleaning up I feel like I'm practically brunette at this point because my roots have grown out so much. It's going to feel nice having a full head of files, maybe a nice treatment on it or something in a cut. Um, I'm so ready for it. Yeah, I will check in probably when I get to the hairdressers now. Saturday morning, so where day. Um, I actually planned on my day off on Thursday to film the whole day, but I ended up leaving my camera in the hairdressers. By the time I went back, obviously my hair was a big job, so that took a while. And um, by the time I went back and I'd done, um, I'd met my mum and done some shopping with her. Yeah, there was no point in filming because um, you missed all the interesting bit, which was me going finding the nicest homeware ever in the most underrated shop. It's called Yusk, J-Y-S-K. I'll show you what I bought in a minute because I thought I'd do a little haul included within this vlog. But yeah, I'm excited for this morning. I am setting off to weigh in in about 20 minutes. And I think I may, may have lost about a pound, which will mean that I'll get my half a stone award if I have. Fingers crossed. Um, it's been a bit of a mixed week. Before I show you what I bought on Thursday on my day off, I thought I'd just quickly <laughs> talk about my hair. Obviously it was curled, you'll have seen the clip, and it looked so nice. I never ever have my hair curly. I've not done anything with it since, so it still looks like nice and smooth. Um, but she did something a bit different this time. Instead of just giving me a full head of uh, bleach highlights and a root smudge, which is what she normally does, she did some low lights as well, so she put a bit of dark through it because she said, I've got a lot of blonde build up and it was looking really dull. And I didn't know how to explain it to her what was bugging me about my hair, but she saw it herself. She was like, it needs breaking up a little bit. And then if we do a really blonde face frame at the front and put some dark through it, it'll make your blonde pieces pop more. And I think that's definitely what she's done. Looks like there's more tones going through it now. Can you see what I mean? I need to master how to curl my hair on her because I loved it the other day. Um, but I still quite like it like this, like quite flicky. Um, it'll definitely be going up in a clip. <laughs> by the time i leave the house like i don't ever really wear my hair down but let's jump into this haul and let me show you what i bought on my day off i went to dunelm matalan to look at the homeware but i didn't buy anything from there and um this used place jysk let me show you the thing i am most excited about this olive tree it was 40 pounds it is the most realistic looking artificial olive tree i have seen um, obviously there's the home bargains ones that you can get for about £90 and I think they are a little bit bigger than this to be honest but this looks more realistic than that one and it's one of those places that, that shop that you would never think of looking for something like this so if you're after an artificial olive tree I have been for about two years but just not wanting to part with the money for it they just look so nice sat in the corner of a room just to lift it a little bit and add a bit of greenery. You don't obviously have to maintain it because I've tried to keep real olive trees inside before and it's just not worked. 
even this bit here just looks so realistic. So my idea for this is to stick it in a basket, put it a bit higher, put some artificial moss around the bottom and that will look absolutely amazing. Um, I'm tempted to go back and get another but I think £40, even though it's not steep for one of these trees, it's still a bit steep, isn't it? Just for something that you're going to plonk in the corner of a room. So definitely don't need to, what am I talking about? I absolutely love that. Bargain. So the next thing I picked up were these tea towels. I just got a pack of two. How much were these? Oh, £6. That's not too bad for a pack of two. Um, and you get this sort of real nude colour here and this like tall paper stone kind of colour there, um, which I absolutely love. I've had my eye on these for a while. It's this wooden tray and this matching storage jar. I just think that these look quite expensive. Sat on a shelf or something. Um, all my windowsills are just painted white, so things like this just stuck on a windowsill just break up the white a little bit. Um, I thought about either putting this in my ensuite to break up the grey and just to add a bit more wood in there because my vanity unit's wood. Um, if you want to see these rooms that I'm talking about, by the way, go on my Instagram because I've got loads of home stuff on my Instagram. Um, I will be doing a house tour very soon as well, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see a full house tour. You could put hand wash on these, you could use it as a little trinket tray, um, you could put like rings on it and then your cup of tea in the morning on your bedside table. I just think that would look really, really nice. But I think I'm gonna use this probably for hand wash. And then yeah, th that's just a really handy thing. Like when you're doing a fake tan, you want somewhere to pop your rings. I just think that is absolutely gorgeous and looks way more expensive than it was. So the mango wood tray was seven pounds and the storage jar was six. And then I got these um, makeup pads, which are reusable makeup pads in this really lovely uh, drawstring bag. I need these for taking my eye makeup off. Yeah, I do use cotton pads, but I'd prefer ones that I could just stick in the washing machine and reuse. And these would be really good for cleansing your face as well. Um, Cause sometimes I don't need like a full flannel Two of those would be enough just to get my makeup off, I reckon. You get 10 in a pack and they were six pound, which isn't too bad when you think if you use the disposable cotton pads, how much you probably spend on, on those in sort of like a six month period. So yeah, I thought that was quite good. Plus it looked really nice. Then in the front of this shop, they always have really nice rolls of wrapping paper, really cheap. So this wrapping paper was 75p and I just stock up on a nice print whenever I see it. I just think that that is absolutely lovely and with Mother's Day coming up, if I want to wrap something up for her, then that would be perfect. It's just got like a really nice leafy detail on it and it's like a gorgeous powder blue colour. This is probably one of my favourite colours. Um, but yeah, 75p and you get 6 metres. That's amazing. I would advise anybody who's Christmas mad to be looking in that shop around Christmas time because it's the... Nobody talks about that shop and I don't understand why. Um, it's been my favourite shop for years now and I've never done a walk around. So if you want to see a come shop with me in that shop, just to see what's in there, I could definitely do one of those. It's good because there's hardly ever anybody in as well and that's my favourite type of shop where you can properly browse and everyone's not in your way. <laughs> uh, and then, this was a bit of a steep purchase, but I've been wanting one of these really nice quality rattan uh, baskets for a while and I thought that my olive tree would sit gorgeous in that so if you look so when it's a bit higher up and the moss is around it and everything that will look really really nice in there this was 28 pounds this um but I've been like I said I've been wanting one for ages so I really wanted to treat myself and I love the colour of this I've actually got a matching basket for blankets that I um lent to my friend um, for her wedding she put all the blankets in there for a wedding and um, so I need to get that back off her and this will just like tie in really nicely with that basket but it's handy to have these anyway because you can use them in your home but then you can also use them for things like that like parties and things and at my wedding I had like a basket full of like flip-flops of people at night time uh, that had been there all day and I would have used something like this for that but this was from Dunelm but if you go into use <laughs> you say like keep hesitating before I say it because I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. 
Um, me and my mum call it JISC, that's what we call it. It's definitely not called that. If you go into that shop, the basket selection in there is next level and it is really cheap as well. So yeah, that is my little homeware haul from my day off. Honestly, the best day off ever. Um, that's my idea of like pure relaxation, going sitting, having my hair done, um, having a nice treatment. She even did like a little head massage and stuff and then going having a mooch around the shops with my mum and my sister came as well. So that was really nice. I don't know why, but at the minute I feel really guilty spending money on stuff like this because oh, how much stuff's gone up. Like the cost of bills, our bills are going up soon. Our mortgage has gone through the roof um, because we've just come out of our, our fix. But then I really thought that I, I deserved some retail therapy um, and I had a really, really nice day. Even though I'd booked off a random Thursday because that was the only day I could get in with my hairdresser, I was thinking, God, I'm not going to want to work on Friday. But it just broke up the week so well, so I don't think that I will hesitate to do that again, book off a Wednesday or a Thursday, because I tend to always book off the beginning or the end of the week, so I've got a longer weekend, but it was really nice breaking it up, and I felt dead motivated yesterday and productive. Whilst I was off as well, I also won an award at work for leader of the month. So yeah, Thursday was all in all a very, very good day. <laughs> I'm feeling positive today. I'm hoping I get a good loss. So wish me luck and I will be back with an update soon. Hello everyone, just got back. This morning's been a bit chaotic. Um, my group starts at quarter to nine. We stayed to group this week. I've just got Connie some blueberries from Aldi. Um, she's getting a bit fed up because she wants to walk, but I am going, meeting up with my mum again and going out with her little Frenchy puppy and Connie. They're like the best friends. So um, yeah, just got back from group, but I, but after group, I went to Aldi and B&M, um, and I'm got my half star award. So happy. Um, so I lost a pound and a half this week. So week one was three pound, week two maintained, week three, three pound, week four, one and a half. So I'm seven and a half pounds down um, in my first month of Slimming World. I'm so happy with that. It isn't a massive weight loss by any means, but... I honestly believe if I hadn't started when I did, I probably would have put weight on, in all honesty. I've really found the last four weeks positive. I've felt, felt like it's been a really positive change and I'm really happy with those results. So my mum's lost 11 and a half now so far, so she lost two this week. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it. Got my first certificate. <laughs> Might sound silly to some people, but honestly, I'm like so chuffed with that. I really wanted it this week. Um, I've got a feeling next week might be even better because I've got no plans to like really eat out or anything this weekend, which is good. I think that's what's going to help me keep on track this week. So um, I'm going to just do a little bit of a haul, not of my whole food shop or anything, um, but just the more interesting bits that I picked up, Slimming World wise, but also I've got some nice little homeware bits as well that I picked up from Aldi and um, B&M. So yeah, I'm going to show you those now. First of all, I'll start with the dog toy because Connie really wants this now. She's looking at me. So, um, like I said, she's ready for a walk. So I got this from B&M, £2.50. It's from the um, like the natural pet section. They've got quite a few bits in there. So I got her this little herringbone toy. Really cute. So, yeah. You ready? Want it? Squeaks as well. Oh, 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 you want it? You want it? You want it? Down, down. I think springtime is the best time to treat yourself with flowers. So I got some daffodils. So I just got two bunches and these will go in my... Oh, I didn't know there was water in there. Um, they, these will go in my little La Creuset um, jug. And when they're flower, they'll look really nice throughout the week and they just always brighten my week up a little bit. And for under two pounds, you can't complain. So they were from Aldi. <clears throat> I then got myself some tulips. Um, the tulips that I bought two weeks ago lasted me two weeks. Um, those ones on these ones aren't looking so clever. I got these this time last week and they're looking a little bit wuss for wear, but I'll keep them for another couple of days and then I will change them out for, oops, these ones, which are just a really gorgeous spring colour. You might be able to hear Sky Girls in the background. Um, Tom's fitting some skirting boards in one of the bedrooms this morning and ripping the carpets up, so he must have picked Spice Girls as his playlist. I'm not judging. I love Spice Girls. Oh, wonderful. I'm sorry if that noise is really annoying, but I haven't really got time to wait for him to stop. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, these were £2.25 a bunch. Uh, so yeah, I picked those up. That noise isn't great, is it? 
please stop. Um, one thing I really wanted to show you are these. These were £4 each. They've got this gorgeous, uh, like, stone sort of detail around the bottom, the ceramic, and they're kind of like a bluey, grey colour, but just gorgeous for spring, and you'll get a good cup of tea or coffee in there. Yeah, I just thought they were absolutely gorgeous. Next up, going back to B&M, everything else is from Aldi, but this is from B&M, and I got this from my mum's puppy. She's teething at the moment, so um, it's a bamboo and nylon um, chew toy. It helps fight plaque, ideal for chewers, and it's got a beef flavour to it as well. Um, and that was £2.50, so I got her that, and I'll take that back to hers now. And then again, on the special buys aisle at Aldi, they had these gorgeous bamboo chopping boards. I needed some new chopping boards. £6 for those two, which I don't think is too bad at all. Uh, they've got like a white edge to them, which I think will look really nice in my kitchen. Um, but they did have quite a few nice like Eastery pastel colours. They had a pink, like a minty, pastel green kind of colour, which I thought was really nice. Uh, for £6, that's not too bad at all, is it? Okay, and then a couple of food bits that I got that I don't normally get Slimming World wise. So these um, chocolate pots I shared, something similar to, similar to this on my TikTok this week because they were on the interest table at group at Slimming World. Um, and these are three and a half cents a pot, which I think is quite good if you're just wanting a little chocolate fix while you're watching Love Island, even though it's going to end soon. Um, I think these are quite a good option. And I also got some of the Skinny Dream Rocky Rolls because you can have two of these as you have the extra B. Can't get over those mugs though. They're absolutely amazing. Thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry if it's been a bit all over the place and a bit loud and a bit just everything going on. I'm going to leave you with a little montage of um, me going visiting my stepdad's tree with the dogs. We scattered his ashes last week and it was the most beautiful day. Um, so we're just going to go and see how it's getting on today and go and take the dogs for a little walk around there. So that will be really nice. It's actually gone quite mild now and the sun's been shining this morning. So I hope you have all had a lovely weekend. It's probably going to be Monday by the time you see this video and I will catch up with you next week. I got him on my mind, but...